morning, it's Saturday the 10th of June and um, I'm going to a wedding later with Mel, one of Mel's friends is getting married and I'm about to do my makeup so I thought I'd show you um, what I'm gonna slap on my face today. So I've moisturised my skin using Oilatum's Face Repair um, Cream, really really moisturising because I need a good base today I think because I want my makeup to last quite a long time. Um, the primer that I'm going to use today is NYX's Angel Veil. This is really really good, it's really affordable, you can get it from Boots and um, it looks like this but when you put it onto the skin it kind of blends out into nothing and it's got a very similar texture to the Hourglass primer that um, I absolutely love but it's so expensive. Um, I wore that Hourglass one on my wedding day and it really did kind of make my foundation and base last all day long so really really nice. So um, yesterday was Friday and um, I work quite near London Bridge, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen I put some photos up yesterday. Um, I walked across London Bridge as I do like hundreds of times um, on my way to Bart's Hospital and um, me and my friends just really wanted to go and pay our respects um, to all the people that were just tragically and brutally killed last Saturday and I just can't tell you like how many people were there and also just the sea of flowers, people just paying their respects and um, it was very, very emotional because I'm a Londoner, I know Borough Market and London Bridge intimately. I was down near a Maltby uh, Market, which is like a sister market of Borough Market, um, only two weeks ago. And um, so I know that area really intimately and I just, I feel so sad for all those people that have obviously lost their lives and that have been injured as well. It's just awful. Laid some flowers and wrote some messages and... Um, it's at moments like this when there's such horrific um, depravity that has happened, like, that's occurred in the streets of London, that Londoners really come together and we're quite resolute that we won't be broken and that we're going to continue going about our normal everyday lives, walking across bridges, um, going to concerts and just living our lives and we will be defiant in the face of, of like terrorism and all these evil acts. So I need to put on some SPF today because it's really, really sunny and I'm going to get burnt. Um, so I'm going to use Clinique's Super, what is it? Super City Block in 40 SPF. Just going to put a thin layer over the primer. This is a really nice SPF because it's a mineral one, so it's probably not as harsh as like a chemical SPF. Oh, I like that. Very nice. And with the shorts, come here, show, show, show them, show them. No. No, come on, come on, quick, quick. No. Come on, come here, you look no. gorgeous. Mel's been shopping. Stand, behind, stand over here, you can see you. Bought this new shirt, look how summery and tropical that is. That's really nice. Yeah. yeah navy blue really suits you, lovely. Casual for the evenings. World's greatest model. I got inspired because you said we're going on holiday, so. I'll get some holiday bits and bobs. We're not going on holiday for another three months. Oh, it gives me time to think about it, doesn't it? And get, get trim. Oh, honey, I love that one. That's very Hawaii esque. What do, you, what do you guys think of this shirt? This one a bit tight. Let's tight. see. It's really nice. It's very Magnum. Magnum? Hawaii? Sort of, yeah. It's a little bit tight. Oh, I have to slim down for this one. Bit. Can you see? Give a wave. Wave! Show me your face! Is that just had his haircut? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've put on a high coverage foundation. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I bought this in Selfridges, um, I think around Christmas time, and I, I just absolutely love it. Um, it gives you a very kind of high coverage, flawless um, look to the skin. Covers um, a lot of my kind of pigmentation and any redness that I've got, and it's just a really nice um, foundation to have. So yeah, my heart and thought goes out to all the Manchester victims. Did anyone see the One Love Manchester concert the other day? I was just so impressed with Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber and all those people that gave their time and passion to making sure that love prevails over this kind of narrative of hate. And now I'm going to pop on some MAC Charcoal Brown eyeshadow onto my eyebrows. Just popping on some primer from Lorac. This came with like one of their um, Lorac Pro palettes. Very nice primer. I've just popped on a little bit of Max Woodwinked just here. Um, I'm going to wear a red lip tonight, so I just want a little bit of kind of definition on the um, eyes, but not nothing too smoky. 
I'm going to take a bit of Illamasqua's Precision Ink Black Eyeliner. This is so good if you want something that's really long lasting and that won't smudge on the eyes. I'm going to tight line with my number 7 Stay Perfect Black um, Eyeliner just along the top. Okay, and then on the bottom, I'm going to take the brown version of the number 7 um, eyeliner and just run it. Curl my lashes. I'm just going to conceal a little bit underneath my eyes using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Just a little bit there where I'm a bit dark. And um, I don't know if any of you are like um, glass wearers like I am. I wear mine a lot during the week when I'm at work. Um, but I've noticed I'm getting quite like marks almost they're not like indentations but they're just like mark marks from where um, i've been wearing glasses so i find that i need to conceal there now which is a little bit annoying but there we go I'm gonna pop a bit of that of that there i've got the nars creamy concealer in um custard and i'm just gonna conceal where i've got a little bit of scarring i think it's quite important to conceal when you are wearing a red lip just to make sure there aren't any pink patches um or any kind of pigmentation showing through because it can make your red lip um, couple with that look um, quite messy I find, I don't know if, if that makes sense. I'm just going to powder and lock in all that concealer with Max Mineralized Skin Finish, very very nice powder. Okay I'm now going to contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I've actually discovered that this shade which is very ashy indeed is really good for contouring my nose. I have quite a small nose, um, it's not very like large or very pronounced so I have to give it a little bit of help in just making it um, a bit more prominent in my face um, just just because it's so teeny tiny and rather flat contouring my cheeks with my beloved collection 2000 um, contour now I'm gonna bronze and add a little bit more dimension to my face using Charlotte Tilbury's film star bronze and glow this is just divine i absolutely love this i only really like to use it on a special occasion mind you um so just gonna pop a little bit on the top of my cheeks and taking it back and what's fantastic about this palette is that i've got it in a medium to dark so i use the highlighter color as a peachy blush oh this flipping thing keeps shedding and now for the red lip, I'm going to take my trusty and faithful NARS Cruella Lip Pencil. Okay, there's one more thing that I need to do, and that is my Ritualistic Spritz. Okay guys, I'm going to go slap on um, my frock and also sort out my barnet, because it's looking, 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 <laughs> um, pretty, bleh. check in with you it's around 11 o'clock now and they're all doing kind of kelda dancing uh, my feet are really sore i just thought i'd show you um the dress that i've worn to the wedding today it's a really kind of nice strappy so here's the straps wrap over roughly floor dress and peacocks 
I'm just wearing some old sandals with it. They're not too high. It's quite a nice midi length. And um, I've got some random playing cards here. Um, it's an Alice in Wonderland themed wedding. So I picked up four and eight because four's my lucky number and eight is Mel's lucky number and hearts because we're all about the love. And um, I've got my little, um, little pink mulberry bag. And yeah, just thought I'd check in. I think we're gonna head home soon. Um, it's been a beautiful, beautiful wedding and um, yeah, I think I am all danced out. <laughs>